All right, so these are the wheels that I'm gonna put on my Tundra. They were originally a matte black, but I uh, put a metallic over it. I was thinking about doing just straight up black all around, but my thing with just straight black is that you, you can't enjoy your rim. You know, you can't enjoy your rim because it's just all black. All right, so right now I'm in my garage. I've had the wheels drying for 24 hours. They look absolutely good. They look good. So what we're gonna do is untape, uh, remove all the tape, um, and then look at the next step. This was matte black and I threw a clear coat over it. Um, it's only one layer of clear coat, but turned out pretty darn good. I like it. So we'll see exactly how she looks. More than likely I'm gonna uh, throw a couple more layers of clear coat on this and just eyeball it. Um, see how I wanna take the next steps. Just to give you a quick look, that's how our wheel is going to be. It's going to be like that with a clear coat around it. I threw on a quick clear coat. Again, it is a quick clear coat. Just to show you how a matte black with a clear coat changes. It's a big change. That's a quick clear coat. All right, so we are back. This is day two. Our wheels have been drying in the garage. Um, again, let's just go take a step back. Uh, the wheels were all uh, matte black. I hit them with uh, some multiple layers, three layers of primer, uh, and then three layers of metallic, and then followed by three layers of clear coat. And it's got a clear coat around the matte black uh, outer rim. I was gonna do a repaint of black, but I just figured, nah, we just throw on a matte black, leave the matte black on, throw on a clear coat, and see how well she looks. And to be honest, she looks pretty damn good to me. Uh, let's just show you real quick. So that's what our wheel is gonna be looking like. Uh, once we're completed, I'm thinking about doing a 285 or a 295, um, 65, 20. Um, I'll see exactly what, you know, what deal the tie shop can uh, come up with. I'm going to let it sit in here for a while because it looks like it's still got some spots that need to uh, dry up. I'm trying to get this off without dragging it. Um, but again... This is the gloss, high gloss wheel that I used. I hope you guys enjoy my update. The next one is going to be pretty much um, getting a tire installed on the wheel. So that way we can actually get a good feel of what these wheels look like with a tire on them. Um, I'm trying to shoot for a all-terrain tire. Um, so we'll see. like now since it's a two-tone i can actually enjoy that this is a uh you know a, a somewhat of a i i am i'm not too familiar with the the terminologies nowadays but you know some may say that's a deep dish or inside dish you know something um but you can actually enjoy the outer lip of this rim again i'm gonna let it uh dry up because I think we might have oh no it's just a that's just a clear coat that looks like it's wet but it's not all right so i think um i think i might end up just throwing on another clear coat um just to play it safe um and the reason being is because this wheel will pr likely be driven or used um during the winter um, that's the main reason why I got this wheel because it's nice uh, lightweight and it's durable 
so 